guys going on? It's October EMP. Um, today I wanted to make a video, go over a couple things that's going on right now um, with Apple and a couple other things. Well, the first thing I want to talk about actually is uh, my giveaway. Obviously I'm giving away $15, $25, and $50 gift certificate to the iTunes um, store. If you guys um, want, you could subscribe and click on the video right here and uh, go comment on that video and you guys will be entered into the contest. And now I'm also um, adding this Jello Skins giveaway. Um, whoever wins the 200 subscriber mark will also win this Jello Skins. Uh, it's the uh, it's called War of the Monsters. And if you guys want to check it out more in detail, you guys can go to the Jello Skins website and just search that, and you'll find um, a big picture of it. It's a really nice Jello Skin, really detailed. Looks really really nice on the iPhone 4. And like I said, I'm, I didn't mention that, but it is only for the iPhone 4. So um, if you end up winning this and you don't have an iPhone 4, just let me know so I can give it to somebody else. And, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, about the Jello Skins. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the Back to the Mac event. Now, a lot of really cool things happened at this event. We got, um, the new Mac OS X Lion. We have new iLife. We have a new MacBook Air. We have FaceTime. We have an App Store coming. A lot of really, really cool things that are going to be, you know, innovative and, you know, really open up things for developers and users and consumers and everybody and it's gonna be crazy I mean the App Store itself is gonna be really crazy they have a over at redandpie.com I believe it was redandpie.com they have a uh, a post um, of a developer who already created an air traffic controller app for um, the Mac and it's in big screen it looks really cool I'll put a link so you guys can go check that out um, also obviously you got the MacBook Air um, getting extremely thin all the way down to one tenth of an inch that's crazy uh, uh, no optical drive still. A lot of people were hoping the optical drive came, but no optical drive. No touch screens. Um, I didn't personally want the touch screens. I thought that was going to be kind of a, um, I don't know, an annoyance if uh, they created touch screens. I just bought my Mac, and if they made a 27 inch Mac touch screen that came out like in a couple of days, I'd have been like, oh, that's kind of ridiculous. But uh, on top of the fact that um, they're not doing the touch screens, what, what they are doing is integrating all the different kind of touch um, methods from the iPad and the iPhone and they're going to integrate that within um, Mac OS X so you can do a lot of cool uh, things with touch with the Magic Trackpad and the Notebook Trackpad and stuff like that which I think is going to be pretty cool um, not the most you know exciting thing to talk about but it's uh, still something that you know Mac users can look forward to and FaceTime is coming which is really cool uh, FaceTime will beta is available right now for download as well as iLife and the MacBook Airs are all out now so you guys can run to the Apple Store um, or whatever and go get that and if you had bought in a Mac or purchased bought and that's not a word if you purchased a Mac within uh, the past you know two weeks um, before or after October 1st you guys will get a discount on iLife a discount of I think it's $59.99 or $49.99 right now and you only have to pay um, $6.99 plus tax if you bought a Mac after October 1st, and I did, so I only have to pay a 7 bucks for iLife, which is really cool. Um, I didn't even know that until I just checked it out a couple minutes ago. I checked out the website and it said that, so I'm looking forward to that. I thought I had to bust out $50, so that's good. Obviously, I talked about iLife before. Um, we got a new iMovie, a new iPhoto, and a new GarageBand. Really cool. Um, the guy, they went over it at the um, Apple event. You guys should go check that out. I'm pretty sure they have it at apple.com. They have the full uh, um, keynote. They have most of them over there. So go, go check that out if you guys need to. Um, but they went over all the new features, all the new touch features, um, all the new um, iMovie features, uh, the trailers, the new audio features you can have, all that different kind of stuff. Um, what else did they go over? They went over... Um, but now you have face recognition, so you can recognize faces in um, iMovie. Some really cool stuff you can do with that. Uh, I didn't. I'm not really sure exactly the specifics about um, the iPhoto Garage GarageBand. There's they have cool things. They have lessons. Um, they have you know how good you played the lessons. Now they'll give you a meter how good you played, uh, and a couple other things that are really cool. I'll put um like I said, in, I'll put the link below, and you guys can go check out the full keynote there at Apple.com. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, jailbreaking. Um, if you guys haven't already realized it, um, all there's four different jailbreaks. Uh, you got Snow Breeze, Pawnage Tool, Lime Rain, Green Poison. Um, those are all the ones I can think of right now. Those are all um, jailbreak all the devices on 4.1, um, including the iPod Touch 2G. So make sure you check that out. And the Pawnage Tool 4.1 will jailbreak um, the Apple TV 2G. So if you have an Apple TV, you guys can go check that out. That out. And there is actually one jailbroken app for the Apple TV. 
Um, I saw it on uh, Ty's iPhone help. He uh, had a link to that, which is really cool. Um, that there's already an obviously there's already an app for the Apple TV. That's you know that that all that only means good things. That only means more apps are coming. So it's obviously another thing we can all look forward to. Another really cool thing that's going on. Geoha actually just came out and said that he has a secret boot ROM boot ROM exploit um, for that he's waiting to release to the iPhone 5. Now that's something all of us jailbreakers can uh, be excited about because obviously that's something everybody looks forward to once the uh, iPhones come out. You an iPhone comes out, you go buy it, you go home, you go on the internet and you're like, okay, where's the jailbreak? When's it coming out? Where, go right to Twitter, go right to Geohot, Comex, you know, all those people's Twitter to see what's going on with it and, you know, usually they're right on top of it, but now um, when the iPhone 5 comes out, you can really look forward to a jailbreak coming out real quick, and not only that, but it'll be a permanent jailbreak, just like these, all these jailbreaks that just came out, um, they'll be permanent. The only way Apple can patch them is if uh, they create new hardware, so once again, look forward to that, and uh, yeah, the last thing that I want to talk about is the Google TV. Um, this is something that's come out, a lot of people are talking about it, comparing it to uh, the Apple uh, TV not the same thing, not the same device. You have a storage unit and a streaming unit. That's that's the two big differences. It's it's dumb to compare them. Uh, the two different companies, two different brands who took who took, um, you know, the same name. You know, you got the company and TV. It's the same name, yeah, but that does not mean that it's the same product. Two different products, and obviously people are going to be like, should I buy this or should I buy this? And you know, yeah, and you probably shouldn't buy both of them. But the fact is that the type of person that you are is going to determine what kind of device you're going to get, whether you're going to get the cheap streaming device with $99, sleek, nice, good looking, easy to use, good user interface, smooth, fast, or you want to get the Google TV where you have to download everything. Um, I'm pretty sure there's streaming on there too, but still you have to download, There's it's a lot more money, it's a big investment um, to get you know to get the TV, the remote, the setup, you know, the whole package, it's, it's almost it's up in there near like $600 for the whole package. Um, now, just the TV itself, I believe, is around uh, one ninety nine, two ninety nine, around there. But still, it's it's a it's a big decision whether or not you're gonna make to either get the Google TV or Apple TV. It all depends on what kind of person you are. Uh, but that's it. That's all I want to talk to you guys about. Hopefully, this video was very informational for you guys. Let me know if you have any comments or questions or anything. Leave me a video down below or leave me a comment down below. You can leave a video if you want. Um, like I said before, if you want to get on top of those contests that I'm having. Uh, you can go to my Twitter account, that's at M-A-T-T-S-4-8-8-8, and uh, just subscribe and comment on the video that I put in the beginning of this video. And that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later.